What's going on guys? My name is Brandon. Welcome to Audio Addiction where you can find latest album reviews, you can find our band interviews, and you can find live coverage of the concerts that we get. Um, I just posted one of Make Them Suffer, so you should check that one out as well as uh, Vault 51. They're an awesome sort of alternative metal band that you should check out as well. Um, and then I posted a bunch of interviews. Uh, one went out on Monday and Wednesday, and then there's one going out on Friday as well. So you should check back with the channel for that and make sure to subscribe make sure to like the video as well also make sure to hit that bell so you're notified of when anything audio addiction related comes out um, and thank you guys for your support so tonight we're going to be talking about polyphia's new ep the most hated So I've been following this band for a little bit of time now. Uh, I just saw them pretty recently on the Lit Tour um, with Covet and Jason Richardson, um, which was really solid. And I hope to see them probably in the fall um, on the Between the Buried and Me Colors 10-year uh, anniversary tour. That one's going to be awesome. Uh, so I might make it out to that one. I'm not entirely sure, but I've been following them since their Inspire EP days. Um, I've been kind of on and off with them musically. Um, Muse was really something that I can't remember, honestly, sonically, but I know it was kind of more in the direction of Inspire. And then uh, Renaissance is more the newer style, the style that they're kind of going for. And then more recently, they released a reissue of Light called Lit, and uh, that has more of an electronic influence to you know the track as well. So I feel like that's the kind of direction that they're going in. And I would say that that has a huge influence on how this album plays out and, you know, how it sounds um, in the future. So I'm going to go through each track, give you my thoughts and opinions on them. And then I'm going to give some pros and cons. And then I'm going to give this tr album or EP an overall rating. So we're going to move it into the first track, which is called Loud. Uh, I'm liking the jazz and soul inspired licks in this song. Uh, the production is definitely over the top, but I definitely feel like it fits with with this track well. Uh, I also feel like this track would have felt li lifeless if it didn't have those sort of additional layerings and electronic parts to kind of um, add a little flavor and a little bit of depth to the track. Uh, I definitely feel like the drum fills and the solos break up this track very well um, to the point where, you know, it doesn't feel like just in a overload of sound um in particular um but i really enjoyed that i definitely feel like again they're keeping with that more electronic influence uh much like the track lit that they've released recently and uh i definitely feel like it's a great opener track with some sort of anthematic presence to it and it kind of you know gives an idea of how you know the rest of the record will sound in some regard uh, i definitely feel like you know there are some tracks that go a little bit more in that electronic bass direction and then there's some tracks that go more in that sort of um instrumental not as intense you know tracks in particular so we're going to move into the second track which is iconic i'm pretty sure i pronounced that right hopefully fingers crossed um but this one is the first single that they released and um it's definitely one of my favorites um really liking this sort of atmospheric intro uh with the sort of tappy lead guitar lines uh, and I definitely feel like the little drums, uh, in, especially in the beginning, add that little extra flair to the track that I feel like um, kind of make the intro, in my opinion. Uh, this definitely has a more stronger electronic influence to it, and um, you can definitely hear it throughout the track. Um, in particular, uh, really enjoying the drum line at around the 2 minutes and 10 second mark to the 2 minutes and 20 second mark. I feel like it is insane and it's completely understated by you know a lot of the sort of other uh stuff going on and i feel like in these sort of more fuller sort of more you know electronic bass tracks a lot of things can get drowned out um so it definitely took me a few listens to get down that you know there is this sort of sick drum line part um and you know i felt like it was just completely just washed out by you know a lot of other sorts of sounds uh that were going on but I definitely like the bridge a lot. I feel like it offers this cool sort of funky break uh, to the rest of the track um, in particular. And I definitely feel like it's the highlight of the track um, a lot because 
it definitely feels like just intensity up until the bridge so to me i feel like it offers a lot of relief to you know an overall really sort of in your face sort of aggressive track so we're going to move into track number three which is goose um liking this sort of cool little guitar opening line that uh follows throughout the track um the extra production is really cool and it adds another sort of dimension and another layer to the track uh the chorus has this sort of cool build up to it as well and then it kind of explodes after that um into the chorus uh, I definitely feel like going forward, um, sonically, I feel like they're going to continue on with that sort of electronic influence, um, you know, with their music in particular. Uh, the bridge definitely grooves really hard, and it definitely, um, incorporation with the sort of other elements that are going on in, with the track makes it a little bit more refreshing. Um, I just definitely wish that it wasn't so, like, in-your-face, sort of high-energy uh, I really would have liked kind of more of a break. Um, that's why I liked about Iconic that it had kind of a little bit of a break to it as well. Um, but this one just feels like an onslaught of sonic noise. At sometimes it can sound really great, but at other points it can be just a whole lot of things going on, um, which I feel like can be a positive or a negative. But to me, I felt like it was definitely a negative. Um, I like a little bit of, I guess, a little bit of atmosphere along with my tracks, and this one just felt like just an onslaught of just song, and it just felt like a little bit too much, in my opinion. So we're going to move into track number four, which is 40 Ounces. This one is one of my favorites. They posted kind of a clip of it um, on their uh, Facebook page uh, as of a, maybe a day or two ago. Um, but this one feels very Chan inspired. There are two tracks that feel to me very Chan inspired. Um, but this one has more of a reminiscent of the more electronic tracks off of Homie. If you haven't checked that one out, check it out as well. Um, but I definitely like the more subtle approach to this track, especially in terms of the electronics. I feel like they definitely take more of a backseat and they're kind of here and there throughout the track, but they're not like in your face just blaring i feel like to me there was a little bit more reserve and a little bit more subtleness to how you know how it's approached in that regard um and to me i feel like it offers a lot of space and a lot of you know parts where you can hear different instruments in you know in a light so to me i felt like it felt much better the structure felt much better the balance felt much better as well um and it just made it for a much better track you know sonically i definitely like to break in the bridge i think it's a really solid track and to me i feel like this is kind of the sound that they should stick with in terms of you know further music and like new music i feel like to me they if they go in that direction it will sound much better it won't sound too crowded and it will sound much more musical to me at least in my opinion so we're going to move into track number five, which is Crosty. This one is one of my favorites as well. Um, this one also has this sort of subtleness um, to it as well, which I appreciate a lot. Again, like I mentioned in 40 Ounces, I feel like to me, the more subtle approach to it really meshes well with the vibe that they're going for. Uh, this one also has a sort of strong Chan vibe to it as well. In terms of the more you know collaboration tracks that were going on with that uh the lead uh guitar melody line is super sick it has a sort of rhythmic feeling to it in my opinion the second verse is really cool it has that sort of subtle electronic parts in it but with really great guitar riffs to back it up um this one has a also soulful soulfulish uh sort of vibe to it as well and everything just pay, plays well with each other the electronic parts uh, mess very well with the instrumentals and vice versa um, other parts don't feel like they're kind of stepping on each other they just you know come together very well and it sounds sonically very pleasing in my book so we're going to move into the last track the worst um, this one is my favorite and is by certainly not the worst track off the record um, wow that was a really terrible pun but anyway uh <laughs> It was a really cool sort of electronic intro. I feel like it meshes their electronic influences 
and that sort of traditional polyphia sound that we all know and love very well together. I did really like Lit a lot, um, but I do appreciate Light in terms of its, you know, technicality. So to me, I feel like once they strike that kind of balance between, you know, the technicality of guitar and the sort of electronic influence that they want to add into their music, that's when they'll kind of hit their stride, in my opinion. And I feel like the last three tracks off this record kind of, you know, set up, you know, their sound in the future. At least in my opinion, I feel like if they went with those sort of three songs, these 40 ounces, Crossy and The Worst, I feel like they'll definitely hit their stride uh, pretty well. Uh, this track definitely has this sort of great ebb and flow to it. And in certain parts, you know, there are accentuated parts, especially with the electronics, but it doesn't feel too much to the point where you're like, you know, you know, this is insane. So to me, definitely balance was achieved in this track uh structurally it fits very well with their new direction and uh the gar guitars definitely had this sort of singing sort of style to it and just you know the way it goes about and how um the guitars sound and how you know they pick up the melodies very well and i definitely feel like it's a great way to finish out the ep um in my opinion with sort of a bang so my my uh, thoughts and opinions on this track or EP, um, The Most Hated, I definitely feel like they took a lot of great elements uh, from Lit and prior uh, releases, and they kind of meshed the two together. Um, like I said, I feel like the three strongest tracks off the record are the last three, 40 ounces, Crossy, and The Worst. Um, I feel like, to me, sonically, they combine every element that I like about their electronic uh, viewpoints on music as well as uh, their more polyphia inspired uh, songs. I feel like to me they cross those two very well and I feel like going forward that's the type of songs and sound that I'm expecting from them uh, going forward. So uh, my uh, cons that I have for this album I feel like it becomes a little bit too much especially in tracks like you know Loud and uh, I would say Icronic and Goose in some portions, um, they just feel like a lot. They feel like a lot's going on um, all at once, and it's kind of like, you know, what do I listen to, the more electronic parts, or do I listen to the guitar parts, or do I listen to, you know, a bunch of other things? It's just a lot going on, and it just feels like, to me, it's not very thought out, it's not very structured. It just feels like kind of like a wall of sound, uh, which I know they're better at doing without a doubt. Obviously, like I mentioned, the last three fit very well with what I'm saying. So um, to me, I feel like there's just a little bit, should be a little bit more reserved with the electronic parts and let the guitars and the instrumentals speak for themselves and have the electronic parts be more of an accent piece to, you know, the really talented guitar parts and drum parts and bass parts. Um, in my opinion. So my overall rating for Polyphia's EP, The Most Hated, I'm going to be giving it a 9.1 out of 10. I think it's one you should check out. I think it's it's really close with their best work, in my opinion. Uh, I still think they need to kind of tweak what they're going for um, and kind of rein in on their sound. But overall, I feel like to me, they've you know, kind of found what they were looking for um, in terms of that, in my opinion, um, what I like and what I, you know, love about Polyphia. So to me, I feel like if they keep very close to the f between four and six track of this EP, they'll definitely be, uh, you know, doing very well in that regard. So let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on Polyphia's The Most Hated EP. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? I would certainly like to know. Um, also, let me know if you're going out to that show, um, you know, that tour. That one's going to be an awesome tour with the Contortionist. I think Tooth Grinder is on it. I'm not entirely sure. I didn't really look at it prior to that. And then, of course, Between the Buried and Me. Um, so that one's going to be an awesome tour. If you are going to that one, that's going to be great. So, um, again, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on it. And if you enjoyed this review, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to thumbs up the video. It really does go a long way. And we also have a link to our merch store in the description. So if you'd like to pick something up, that'd be primo. And thank you guys so much for your support. It really, I really couldn't have done this without any of you guys. So thank you so much. So my name is Brandon. We hope you got your fix. And we'll be talking with you soon. Peace. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching, of course. 
Uh, if you enjoy what we do, make sure to go check out the other series we do. We do album reviews, we do band interviews, and we do live videos, so definitely go check that out. Um, hit that subscribe button, it really helps our channel, helps us grow. Make sure to hit that like button as well. Uh, go follow us on social media, that's all down below, we try to keep that as updated as possible. We also made a new website where we'll be posting photos of upcoming concerts and stuff like that, which you can go check out at audioaddictionmedia.com and come get your fix with us guys. Talk to you later. Deuces!